Yeah, so I'm uh, Doug Hao. Uh, I'm the chair of pathology and chief of pathology at McGill University Health Center. And the question is, um, uh, the treatment with uh, the um, patient serum that those patients recovered, you're using those, uh, the, the serum of those patients uh, to help the sick patients. Would that be effective? Uh, in our protocol, the plasma treatment is only for this patient whose nuclear acid analysis is still positive, all the clinical physicians think these patients have confirmed uremia. And uh, we didn't met these patients because our patient, when the patient get to the severe or critical type, most of our patients, the IgM of these patients are positive. They don't have any, they don't have any virus but they have antibodies. Yeah. So we don't have that experience, but in the report, some of these patients on the plasma treatment can improve. Yeah. All right. Is there a risk, is there a risk of, uh, 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 of doing so by uh, uh, using the patient serum or plasma? <coughs> Uh, of course, in, uh, ch transfusion the plasma is one of the risks, but in the clinical practice, we have all the patients uh, red blood red blood cell or platinate, and uh, all we, we all do we do all these transfusions, so we don't think it is a big problem for the hospitals. But uh, I I wonder if you are asking why whether this recovers. They they have virus in their blood. Is that your consideration? Or some other uh, other things of in, in the blood transmitted uh, diseases or something. Right, yeah. oh. uh, we do have tests for uh, for common uh, blood uh, transmitted uh, diseases to reduce the risk. Thank you.